I think my mind has a real tendency to look way ahead of what's going on and try to put me into places that and convince me my mind tries to convince me that something else is going to be better you know uh, maybe the relationships I have aren't good enough or my mind sees um, better relationships with people who are perfect and or not perfect I don't believe in perfection but maybe my mind does you know and you know everybody's human so the people that you got around you are gonna s are gonna upset you they're going to not do what you want them to do most of the time and so you, you just have to kind of like um, realize that y you're not always doing for them what they want you to do for them either so you know give them a break and they'll give you a break maybe or something like that but it's not just relationships my mind um, envisions me in a place where like I don't have to clean up after myself you know um, maybe some kind of like immaculate like um, penthouse and a skyscraper or something um, in New York City or you know just like where there's giant windows of light and it's been made by an architectural firm and to the specifications that I my mind has imagined are best and that I have all the right appliances and um, you know like a maid or three and um, just kind of like everything set up just perfectly or or whatever that means to my mind but of course you know whatever um, perfection might be for my mind um, reality is its own perfection because reality is what reality is right so here I am in my apartment I have my cats I have my people my friends acquaintances you know I've got a car I live in a certain city a small city and it's like um, whatever you know it's like it is what it is I mean there's still gonna be trash on the streets there's still gonna be um, people who I don't care to interact with who I have to interact with um, co-workers um, just people in general um, there's gonna be days where the weather is not to my liking um, there are gonna be days when I can't afford to eat the things I want to eat. Um, I'll probably never have a maid, um, you know. Um, and then me, look at me, like, um, why can't I accomplish this or that to the, um, to the at the pace that I want to, or, or go at the pace that I want to, or, um, how come my cats are getting fleas, or, you know, interrupting my um, videos here, or what's going on? So it's like, you know when do I stop and just like accept all these things and just stop freaking out you know like just kind of oh my god you know um everything's fine you know everything is exactly the way it is supposed to be you know uh these challenges these obstacles um they're opportunities right they say they're opportunities you can look at it that way it's not a problem it's an opportunity I used to hate when people say that, you know, but um, it's actually true, you know. Uh, these things are opportunities. I have an opportunity to clean my house better. Uh, it makes me feel good, you know, to like put some TLC into my space, you know. Maybe I don't enjoy doing it at the moment all the time, but um, it's a good thing. It's good for me. It's good for the spirit. It's good for the soul. Making my own food versus going out and getting food. Oh, so much better, so much better. Um, attending to my cats, you know, um, slaving away from my my pets, you know, is like, hey, I mean, they're creatures of God, you know, so it's like, why shouldn't they get some help from somebody who's so human and higher evolved species or whatever it is we like to think of ourselves, you know. Um, hey man if we're highly evolved then we should be taking care of things
So that's um, about all I need to say right now. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you didn't, go make your own. <laughs> Just kidding. Have a nice night.